It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Joanna Jacek and Rose Namajunas. So now we make way for the strawweight queen. She is Thug Rose Namajunas. List what a lot of people didn't think she could. That is to best Joanna Jacek first knocked her out and then beat her on points over 25 minutes. And as Namajunas continues to evolve, prevailing theory is it's going to be even harder for one of these 115-pound up-and-comers to beat her. This girl is one of the most frightening kickers in this division. Ruthless knockout power in her legs. She kicks fast, she kicks hard, and she has a full arsenal of kicking technique to rely upon. When they land, they land with devastating impact. Or woman, you are staring at one of the most skilled and talented strikers to ever grace the octagon. And a scary proposition to the rest of the strawweight division because Joanna Guillaume Jacek is only getting better now training under American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. This girl has outstanding kicking technique. It is one of her best assets. Ridiculous power in her legs. They come fast, and when they land, they have devastating impact. She is one of the best kickers in this division. Strawweight fight. Nama Yunus is 25. Yeon Jacek is 30. The rest is roughly identical. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Strawweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record odds. Nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weigh in at 115 pounds. Finally, out of Denver, Colorado, Fog Rose Narayunas! And now we're producing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weigh in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Austin, Poland, Joanna Yerjacha! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, ready to go with live action here. So here is the former UFC strawweight champion, Joanna Yerjacha. She has broken a lot of fighters with her work rate, with her pace. There is no denying the output. Seemingly doesn't get tired. We'll see how Joanna Yerjacek starts this challenge tonight. Yerjacek gets caught with that punch. All right, first round is underway now, and you got to watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. That one hurt. Left hand lands for Nami Yunus. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and there's Nami Yunus. Yunchaichek gets hit by that leg kick, so maybe that one gets her attention. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Great exchanges. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Oh, she connected flush. There's a single attempt. Nama Yunus gets the single leg takedown. Back to side control. Just over three minutes to go round one. Try 
trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Side control again. Excellent sweep. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Now closes the distance. and to the target quickly. Beautiful inside leg kick by Yeon Jaichi. And the kick lands for her there. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by Rose Namayunas. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Yeon Jaichi gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Nice kick there by Rose Namajunas. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. Namajunas gets the single leg takedown. Back up again. Beautiful jab. Well, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Gion Jaichik. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. And you do really want, what is it going to take to break someone like Young Jacek? You can take her down, knock her down, and still fresh as a daisy. Oh, nice jab by Nama Yudis. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Thug Rose gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice. Nama Yunus gets caught by the inside leg kick. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. There's a nice left hand. Excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. Side control. Horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. Lots of action in that round. Carly Baker in the building tonight, thank you very much. strikes here tonight. That is the good news. The bad news, more often than not, Joe, it's been one and done. She's not stringing her combinations together the way she has done in previous UFC appearances. Let's see if her corner can help her adjust and try to get an uptick in the volume and ultimately get her opponent out of it. Big punch. Very nice. Showing the punch. Working well off of that jab, Joe. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Inside leg kick is there by Gion Jaichi. Well, 
Well, her approach defensively, Joe, is leaving a lot to be desired here. She's almost moving into her opponent's striking range and eating that jab. It's not necessarily a power punch, but she can't take too many more of those. Oh, nice punch there by Yeon Jaichek. Leg kick oh, now, Joe. Nice. Man, this could be it right here. So there it is, her patented leg kick. It lands again. She's already found a home for it several times in this round. And now you can visibly see some of the damage on that lead leg of her opponent. She's got some nasty bruising on her torso. She's going back to the jab. The spinning back fist lands. Nice, very nice combination. Kick to the body is there. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and again, she lands another takedown there. So really doing a nice job scoring points with these takedowns. The opponent doesn't see it coming either, right? She's not telegraphing the shot. And as such, she has her opponent grounded yet again. She's moved back to half guard. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Full guard here. Just over two minutes to go. Trying to take the back here. Young know, Jai gets back up. Well, she has certainly landed a high number of total strikes here in round two. She got the message from the corner to pick up the pace, and maybe it was just a matter of finding that striking rhythm, finding her range. She has certainly found it, Joe Rogan, here in round two. Oh, she checked that one. Wow, what a kick. Powerful right hand. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. How about that chin? Yo, Jacek gets hit with a kick. Oh! This could be it! Man! Oh, very nice. She blocks that offense, Joe. Body kick, look at that. Constantly a moving target. All right, so look for her to set up another takedown attempt here. She hasn't telegraphed her shots here tonight. She has been very good in terms of the timing on her entries. Let's see if she goes for another takedown here. Nice combination there by Yeon Jaichek. Yeon Jaichek using the fence to her advantage. Oh, big shot. She got tagged again. She's hurt. This could be it right here. And she's down! Big body, body shot. shot there, too. She's got a guillotine. She's got a guillotine. She's got that guillotine locked up tight. She's still working this choke. Any second now. That's and there it is. Close. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory. Well, you're right, Joe. You could tell she was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but she didn't want to force it. She stayed patient, allowed her setup to do its work, and then let the submission materialize almost organically. So the desired result turned in by this fighter here tonight, and she has certainly set herself up for a massive opportunity now moving forward. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Murgliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump, Fog Rose Marina!
Well, they will enjoy this one in the 303 and beyond. Big ups to Rose Namajunas there with her chief corner, Trevor Whitman. That is a potent one-two combination, folks. And they've really taken Namajunas' game to the next level of late. This just might have been her best performance to date, and many still believe the best is yet to come for Thug Rose. You gonna see, ain't no thing but jump on. 18, H-O-P, bet on me. Prodigy, when I hit the track.